Our chef on a shoestring this week is Ken Oranger, a local boy from across the river in New Jersey who began as a teenage dishwasher and now he is executive chef and owner of five restaurants considered the best in the Northeast. He's also a winner of Iron Chef America and this morning Ken is here to prepare the meal that you voted for, a fiesta for your mouth, all on our shoestring budget of $40. Welcome chef, great to see you. Thank you, you. to be here. Well, we're thrilled to have you, so tell us what we're preparing today. Okay, we're going to start with, uh, this is actually a tomato soup. Okay. But it's a clear tomato soup and we serve it hmm. chilled. So how do you do that? Okay, so what we do is we take tomatoes, basically cut them in half, pop them in a blender. Okay. Very simple. All these recipes, the easier the better for me. I don't want to spend hours and hours in yeah, the kitchen. Yeah, absolutely. So, so you just right. put them in the blender. Put them in a blender with a little bit of salt. And all you have to do is pop it in. And this is a kitchen towel that's just been lightly rinsed with water and then squeezed out. So, so it doesn't it's a absorb moist. it. Yeah, it's moist. It doesn't absorb anything. And that way it'll filter through. So and we're filtering see, through here some tomatoes. It looks like, what is that? The, uh, the, the, this stuff. Okay, that's jicama. Okay, jicama. Okay. So this is what's left. So you basically hang this for about three hours or overnight. Okay, and a lot of people can't believe that you can have the clear essence of a tomato look like this. And it has all the flavor that you need without having any of the puree. So wait a minute, I want to stop you there because you're telling me that this turns into this by the morning. Absolutely. As you can see, even dripping through, hmm. it happens uh, almost immediately. Very interesting. So this is basically your clear tomato soup. And that's all, this is the clear tomato soup. And you and don't need is, to cook it or anything. That's it. We're serving it chilled. And how would you serve it? You have these martini glasses here. Yep. So we're going to serve it like a martini. Actually, if you want to help me, you can pour sure, that. Sure, of course. And I'll garnish it. So you could fill a glass about halfway through. And now is this, I feel it's chilled. So you're yes. serving it chilled. Mm -hmm. So we serve it chilled, and then with tomatoes, a clear essence, we want to serve flavors that go well with it. And this mm -hmm. is a, a Latino, Mexican, Spanish theme, so we'll serve almost some ingredients that go into salsa. So Pretty. we'll serve some cherry tomatoes, and then if you want to take a little bit of the jicama. And this jicama, tell me more about what it is. Okay, jicama is a root vegetable that is pretty much considered the potato of Mexico. Hmm. And it's very versatile, very crunchy, almost like a water chestnut. You really want to be able to get that really refreshing crunch. And a lot of times they'll serve it just with a squeeze of lime and a little chili powder, and they'll eat it like a street food snack. Okay, so. And that's basil. This is basil. If you want to just tear sure. a couple pieces into that. Make it look pretty. Okay, and that's it. It could not be easier. I'm going to have a sip of this while we start on the tacos. So you tell me what we're doing there. And by the way, this is what the people voted for. Good choice, people. This is my favorite. Carne asada tacos, nothing I'd probably rather eat. That's really good. Isn't it? I'm really surprised by the flavor. A splash of vodka in that, you can't <laughs> beat it either. Cheers. Okay, clear Bloody Mary. Okay. So speaking of a splash of vodka, you have another drink going over the meat here. Okay, this is uh, cola, which I think makes for a fabulous marinade. A lot of these people in research and development that develop these secret recipes, there's about 20 ingredients in cola that are a lot easier than taking 20 ingredients and putting it in a marinade. Ah, okay, so and it has cheaper too, 99 cents gets oh. you a can of cola. So you're, how long are we marinating this meat okay. for? So we're gonna marinate it usually for a minimum of two hours to three hours. You can go overnight if you want. So a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of oil, and it's very important with marinades that you always have some type of salty element, some oil so it doesn't stick on the grill, and some type of sweet element, which the, the cola will do. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we'll pop in some onions, just chopped. A bit of garlic. And what did you say the cut of meat was that we're putting in this here? This is skirt steak, which I think is the best steak for grilling because it's very, very tender. Okay. So then we'll just slice up a little garlic. And again, you don't have to go crazy with any of these knife cuts. And that's pretty much it. Let's so put our you... finished product on the grill so we okay. can see how that's supposed to kind of spice it up. All right, so what you want to do, it's very important when you're grilling to make sure, here's the meat that's been marinated, mm -hmm. to make sure that you dry it before you grill it. Okay. Okay, it's the one, probably the number one mistake that people make when they're grilling is that uh, they'll put meat that's too wet on a grill and then it basically boils when it's on the grill. You want it to sear really, really that's hard and get the colorization. And, and you have that cola that's, that will allow you to have that caramelization. All right, so we don't so have a lot of time here to put tongs. this here, but let's put it on okay. the grill and show people how you, you would put it after drying it off on your towel okay. here. And that's where you hear the sear getting right on it. Okay, and then if you want we'll to pop put that, that there. On. And what are we serving this with once it comes off the grill? Okay, once it comes off, we're gonna serve that with 
Okay, okay you want to stretch that out a little <laughs> oh, bit. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So once it comes out, the grill's a little small, but once it comes out, we're going to serve it with uh, salsa verde. Okay. Which is basically tomatillos, mm -hmm. which are green tomatoes, or you can use unripe tomatoes or something thereof. A little bit of fresh squeezed lime juice, a little bit of cilantro, and a little bit of jalapeno. Okay. Okay. This is very beautiful, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you're, I'm glad so, okay. you're working the grill Once instead of me. Once it comes out the grill, we're okay. going to put it in with the salsa, and that's a finished product. That's where, a finished how product. How long have you had that one on the grill? This one was on the grill probably for about five minutes. Okay. I want to make sure we get to our dessert here, because you have churros that you brought along. This used to be one of my favorites as a kid. Do you need a deep fryer for these? Churros, you don't need a deep fryer. Okay. You obviously need oil, and you need to have a hot pan to be able to cook them in, but you want to make sure that uh, you can pan fry them as long as you have enough oil just to cover them. So if you pan fry them, they should be a little bit thinner than, uh, than if you deep fry them. All right, let's see how you did, by the way. Um, okay, thank you, Chris. We appreciate it. It's very dramatic. She looks so confident on the grill over here. I love it. Angel, you know, whatever. All right. 39.71. So it looks Ooh. like you didn't make the leaderboard. However, you did a great job with this. I love the soup. Also, people, it's now people? your opportunity to decide what's on our menu for next oh, week. Kidding. Here are your choices. <laughs> for vegetable risotto, simply call star star zero one. For butternut squash curry, just call star star zero two. Remember, you don't have to text, you just dial. And for bass with cilantro salsa, simply call star star zero three. Standard data and message <laughs> rates apply. And um, they're correcting me in the control room saying risotto. risotto. <laughs> However, no, no, no. Oh, I, I was being polite you. not hey, saying anything. Come on. I love risotto. Yeah. I, there are, there are European chefs. You should try, you should try the risotto. stack also. <laughs> the stack is really good also.